We stomp them, we spray them, but those nasty spotted lanternflies may have finally met their match in a girl from Montgomery County. WFMZ's Jamie Stover explains. This is home for 14-year-old Rachel Berge. Every other is um, a different type of maple. They're all maples. But someone... One, two, three, four, and then there's some others up there. And a bunch of his buddies recently invaded the place. Up, there's Dana? a lot up there on the tree. Um, trunk. Rachel started caring because they were hogging up the tree she likes to climb. I had no idea what they were, but they didn't really make me want to climb our tree anymore. Then she found out she might not ever be able to climb her tree anymore if the spotted lanternfly did what it does and kills trees. So she got to work. And so this is my trap. <laughs> it uses their natural instinct to go up against them. When the bugs start crawling up the tree, they hit the foil ring. They'll see this tunnel eventually. And when they see the tunnel, they will go up through there. They do it because it's the only way to keep moving up. They end up here. So, like, see here, my hand, there's netting here. So, the spotted lantern flies here, they can't feed onto the tree. So, they die about 24 hours later. She killed 1,200 of them in two weeks with just two traps. I don't have to spray them with any type of pesticide. I don't have to do anything to them. I don't have to squash them. Rachel is headed to Washington, D.C. next month. She's one of 30 middle schoolers competing in a national science competition. No matter who wins, I'll say this spotted lantern. Flies, you finally lose. Jamie Stover, 69 News.